People are increasingly angry at Meghan Markle because all her games are on her. Hello and welcome to Princess Diana News Channel. You know, Meghan Markle doesn't miss a moment when the cameras are on her. That's exactly what we saw two days after the Invincible Games. Biographer Tom Bauer expressed his opinion on the matter. Mr. Bauer said Meghan's control killed Harry's inner child and ruined his only legal project. I and many others really want to focus on what this event is about. How sad that these two have become the opposite of who they are. Here for. Let's not leave the real wrestlers who have achieved so much. This shadowed Harry in his event and wanted to be the leader, why on earth would he let this get in the way of his sponsorship and ruin his and everyone else's party? Meghan previously attended Prince Harry's Invincible Games in Dusseldorf and, as always, took center stage. In one. She wore the stars and stripes, a clear indication of her allegiance to the United States, Bauer added that he brought his own photographer to take all the photos, but Meghan doesn't know how to share the spotlight. Someone who is selfish doesn't care about others, they just want to win. This is not Meghan's show, and it should never be hers. Please remember who these games were originally intended for, this is their show. Sir Tom Ball concluded, I'm sorry to say that the Invictus were destroyed by their egos, their desperate need for money, attention and self. The Invictus Games were created to highlight the brave wounded veterans as athletes' heroes and their efforts, not PR for Meghan and Harry. Invictus seemed to be Meghan and Harry's playground when Meghan first introduced her as her girlfriend. They really need to be released. I mean, they're just using this platform to hide what the game is and get media attention while making millions off the stories of hard-working veterans. Has the game started? Will athletes hear who they are, their journey, what they hope to achieve, their dreams? I mean, can we learn anything about the game? How long have they been training? Who inspires them the most, why do they come to watch the game? Chapter Were they there before? Will they compete again? Did any of them get a chance to discuss how they became injured or incapacitated? Can they show off the medals they won in the war, can they tell us how they received these medals, which regiment they served in, etc? Chapter Did they serve in the Army, Navy, or Air Force? The public wants to know the history of competitors. We don't care about Meghan and Harry. I wonder if anyone asked Meghan if she was okay. Boy, that crooked smile that's always plastered on his face must be tiring. And this time, Meghan seems to laugh at the sound of money falling into her pocket. I mean, this woman alienated the royal family, who, by the way, welcomed her with open arms. They even invited him to Christmas before the wedding and he also threw his father under the bus. How dare she show her face at an event where the support of friends and family is one of the core values of the games. And for a couple who say they just want their privacy, that seems hypocritical to say the least. And it shows how desperate they are and how they always have to be in the spotlight for Meghan to push them forward. They are trying to outdo William and Catherine, however, trying to maintain this level of falsehood must be exhausting. Chapter I can't stand this woman anymore. She also seems to compete with Harry and overpower him. Why is he playing this crap? This is a must-have feature on Netflix that they've already been fired from Spotify, so they're really at the mercy of Netflix executives. And that means they have to play happy family at all costs, even if it means leaving invisible children behind. Now Harry needs his inner child. It is a survival mechanism for people who have experienced childhood trauma. And I know that Harry grew up extremely rich and privileged, but when his mother died, he was still traumatized. So he has to show a little love to the little boy inside. Although maybe he didn't like him because he was there when his mother died in a car accident. Now a therapist or psychiatrist can explain this better than I can. But without showing love to the 12 year old boy, Harry would never get over it. Now, when he's allowed to perform, he does it, 
but Megan prefers him to be distracted and use his theatrics to make money. She is trying to deny him the support that he needs, and why? Because she has no interest in helping him heal. Alright, so on to a slightly different topic. Let's discuss your opinions that you shared with me after my recent video. I was talking about Megan's speech at the Invictus Games, that it was all about her, and trying to convince everybody that those invisible children really exist. And boy, did you all have a heated debate on this topic, so let's talk about some of your thoughts. I like this comment from Sujan7530. How can she just show up, walk on stage and grab the microphone? He was so desperate that he wanted to point out that he had to do everything himself to be on stage. You can really see that Henry is surprised that he ignores everyone and leaves without the scotch. Of course, she needs to figure out what she's wearing to get some sympathy. Oh, that's typical Meghan Markle behavior, isn't it? I just walked over all of them. I don't even know why Henry is shocked at this point. I think he's used to it by now, she bulldozed at every chance she got. Wendy Storm said, until the royal family fully discloses the circumstances of these children, they will continue to lie about the births. I believe they will. I really hope the royal family benefits from this. We are tired of hearing about these children who do not exist, Tracy Tomlin seems to be as disappointed as I am. Tracy said, then why didn't anyone stop him? It was enough. I'm tired of his bullshit but no one is taking any action. She should be booed off the stage, she had to do it. Chapter I still don't understand why anyone feels obligated to cooperate with this whole mystery. What I mean is, be honest about how you feel about her. I don't think anyone really appreciates his presence here. Chapter O, oh, poor me, I have to fulfill my motherly duties, does it take three days to buy milk? And why weren't the children with him? Oh, we know the answer to that question. It just shows that he doesn't think attending the Invictus Games is important enough to be organized and on time. Or as you said, Tada, show. I think it was. It probably hurt her that Harry was paying so much attention. Yes Sarah, I think you hit the nail on the head. She can't stand it when he gets more attention than her. Unless, of course, this is not negative attention, but even then, I don't know, she's trying to hide somehow. Sue Clark also mentions Megan and these invisibles. He says he was disappointed that Invictus allowed himself to be drawn to him and his big, toothy smile. I wonder if they gave in to their demand? He only mentions the children when he needs to use them to improve his image. And as if she's packing their lunches and smoothies for school, and what two-year-old goes to school. Exactly. Her story didn't even make any sense. And another thing is, if the kids are in school, I mean, if they're real at all, then they would just be in some kind of private preschool or daycare program or something. And it's not like they couldn't take time off. I mean, come on. Marion DeWitt notes that the Invictus audience didn't care about him at all. Marion says I watched her talk for three minutes. You can barely hear them. Because when she was spitting her word salad, it seemed like no one was listening because you could hear people talking to each other. Well, good for them. I don't listen to him either. And then another great comment from Leslie below Marion. Why did she strategically place the late Queen Elizabeth's favorite Hermes scarf on her back for all to see? I didn't even know it belonged to the late Queen. Oh my gosh, this makes things worse. Regardless, Leslie continued. Is this another attack on the royal family at this sad time? Probably. This woman is completely crazy. Will she stop encouraging them, oh, I mean, how shameless can she be? Marigold then said Meghan might want to compete with Catherine. Marigold said, I think when she saw Princess Catherine getting all the applause at the Rugby World Cup she wanted the same thing so she decided to go for Invictus. Get on stage and give that same encouragement. This is a narcissistic trait they want to show that they are better than you. Yes, she tried, didn't she? But boy, did he fail. I mean, she needs to stop competing with Catherine of all people. 
She could never hold a candle to Catherine, well, the last comment I want to share with you is from Maria Grant. Maria says I am getting older day by day. It would be nice to one day see these so-called kids on video with their parents Harry and Meghan rather than in staged photos before I leave, but I won't be commenting on this screen keep breathing. Chapter Maria, please don't hold your breath, otherwise I'm afraid you won't be able to breathe anymore. Royal commentator Andrew Pierce agrees with most of you, guess what it's about? What she loves most is herself. The purpose is to draw attention to her. Meghan Markle, former Z-rated actress. A beautiful princess, but in her mind she is a duchess. It was all about him. Nothing is said about the Invictus Games and the participants. And again, she tries everything to outdo her husband. Why does he agree to this? You know, Harry, good luck at the Invictus Games, you will need it. And I hope at least the games are good because they are great stuff. But as always, Megan does nothing to promote you or the games. The truth is, if you pay people to be people, it's not like they're always going to give you good advice. Megan can't say no one cares about her. No one cares what she says. Now Harry will think this is just a popularity boost for him and Meghan. If anyone can influence the opponent's attention, it's Harry. It's a shame he didn't. Is he really that afraid of Meghan, I mean, does anyone believe that Meghan Markle can blend into the background instead of trying to be at the forefront? There is no point in Meghan talking to anyone at these games. Equals she should just be a bystander. This has nothing to do with you, Meghan, or you, Harry. This should be of concern to injured veterans, this isn't Prince Harry's, invincible game. I mean, Prince Harry did nothing but show up and do everything he was told. But if I were Harry, I wouldn't let someone like her take something like that away from me. Harry has lost enough. He's been through hell and at this moment I do not understand why he does not see that he is a problem in life. But this, of course, did not surprise any of us. We knew that he would focus everything on himself. So far we have had about 20 articles about him. It should be about veterans. I mean, enough of this desperate Megan show. If Megan was a decent person, she wouldn't even show up. He knows he has no business there. He is irrelevant. But she should always be in the center of attention that we also present the full, look at me, show for everyone to see. This makes me sick. Chapter Megan is unlikely to promote the scenery around her. I mean, I don't know if she would agree to divorce Harry because she knows she wouldn't be able to follow in his footsteps if she did. Instead, she could hold on to him for dear life and you know she's trying to hurt the royal family and the British people because they didn't like her like they did Harry. I wish Harry would wake up and realize that she needs to be cut out of his life like a cancer. And you, what do you think about Harry and Meghan? Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't be afraid to like and share with your friends and family, if you like today's video, they will be happy too.